It's summer! It is summer! Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, it's not really sad news, but we have to bring back the S1000XR. Now we have to get going very quickly, because there is a terrible rainstorm coming, and we're going to be stuck in the middle of the rainstorm. So yeah, I'm actually dressed like a crash test dummy. Yeah. Yeah, back on the S1000XR, and of course, very, very wet. Now, uh, there's a lot of motorcycle guys that are like, hey, uh, motorcycle season just started, and I'm always like, wait, what, what, what's motorcycle season? To me, it is always time to ride a motorcycle. Maybe not the best of idea when it's snowing like really hard, but I did it with the Royal Enfield. I would not be doing that with, uh, with this bike. Now, with that being said, there is like a lot of riders aids going on these days on this bike. I have it in rain mode. And I'm not too scared to uh, floor this bike on the highway. Now, if there's a little bit of oil on the sides here, that's a little bit of a difference. Uh, the aids are probably not gonna kick in quick enough to save my wet butt. Oh, oh I love these high RPMs. Oh, the sound of this foreign line BMW. <laughs> Oh, I love it, I love it. This is not the worst of rains. It is going to get a lot worse. This is like the, not even the eye of the storm. I love riding in the rain. The only main issue I have is people driving cars are also on their phone and now they're also in the rain with zero visibility. That's why I stay away from cars as much as possible. Pretty hard thing to do on the highway, Smokey, but yeah. Anyway, now we're getting there. Funny news, I uh, actually went to a farm uh, last week. Yes, a farm. And I could be going jet skiing in Dubai for like two or three weeks. I could be sailing a boat in the Bahamas. I could be doing a lot of stuff. And what did Smokey do? I went back to basics and I went to a farm. Yes, a farm. So uh, we actually went there, pretty cool. You come there, there's like a lot of kittens there, cows. We got some sheep and we stayed in like this little house tent. And the fun fact, there is no electricity in the house tent. So if you want some warm water, you have to put on the stove or the barbecue with some wood that you actually chopped yourself. Uh, that is awesome. I do have to say the peace and quiet and going back to the basics. Yeah, that's something I absolutely love. Then you can of course uh, go and help the farmer feeding the animals, watching the piggies, watching the horses, like uh, a lot of cool stuff. And I do have to say that was a good week. Uh, just reading a book, like my third book in my life ever. Uh, started reading books from time to time because for some reason I kind of started loving it and it, it really relaxes me. But besides that, that was a pretty awesome week. Like, not a lot of people there, just five tents. And we also got our own wheelbarrow. The tent comes with a personal wheelbarrow. So if you want to take your luggage out, you have to take the wheelbarrow. Side note, riding in this bad rain is kind of dangerous. So if anything happens today, it is not my wife's fault. I actually have a car with a trailer. I have could put the motorcycle on the trailer and take in the car. Now, I was just wondering, are there actually like helmets with built on windshield wipers? Like like that like I mean why not uh, when I get inside the store I'm also gonna ask for like a little spray that the water goes off my visor a little bit better because my helmet is like a year old and yeah the water is like sticking to it don't really like it when I do like 170 180 kilometers an hour yeah that's not going to be a problem but uh, I mean yeah you gotta you gotta ask something in the store spray it on and so it goes off maybe also on the GoPro this might be a very very wet video I don't know. Rain and white lines. I'm trusting the uh, BMW electronics a lot with this. A lot. Oh, you see that? Lane splitting coming from right to left. That's why I always say when you do lane splitting, put your two fingers on the front brake, put your foot on the rear brake. Also put on your four indicators because if they have it, not a lot of motorcycles actually do have uh, four indicators. Now, uh, let me know in the comments if your motorcycle has four indicators or not. And also, of course, what motorcycle it is. Ooh. This is getting tight here. Oh, motorcycle people. Look at that. We have some more. Oh, look at that. This whole group. I'm just going to join. I'm just going to join in. Ah, okay. They're not lane splitting. Oh. No. Yeah. What do we have here? We have like a lot of choppers, Harley Davidsons, race bikes. Oh, it's like a group of friends. Nice. Nice. Yeah, they're all, they're all going to stay behind this trailer. I'm not, I'm not planning on doing that. I want to do some more lane splitting. See you later, guys. See you later. Hello. Sorry. Going for it. Oh, Ninja. Old Ninja. Nice. 
Hey guys, hello, hello. Where are they from? Germany. Ah, oh, it's a German group of friends. Of course they cannot do lane splitting. They brought a friend with a with a sidecar. Of course they can't. Of course they can't. See you guys, see you guys, but Smokey has got to go and pick up a BMW GS. Weird, I have seen 10 Germans in a group and I think nobody was riding a BMW GS. Now that is weird. And that's also a, probably a world's first. <laughs> you can say whatever you want, but I prefer being on this motorcycle in the wet as my job as being in a square box in that building for eight hours a day. That is a fact. Even if I make less money, I don't care. I've been making YouTube videos for over 10 years now. And I do have to be honest, it is driving me absolutely nuts. I can make like two, three videos a week max. But more than that, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, also starting up back a supercar Smokey. So we're also going to be doing some car reviews. But I actually uh, asked a friend to be 50-50 inside of the company. So he will be doing uh, the recording and the editing. So it's not pushing my limits of uh, mentality any further. Uh, and that's also why I'm becoming more of a trainer and a coach for people who also want to do some more YouTube and make their money on YouTube or make like a little bit of a passive income or some money on the side. Ow! It's not raining, it's like balls of hail. What's going on here? There's like little balls of hail falling on my head. Ah! Oh hell! It's like the end of August. It's summer. It is summer and I'm getting I'm getting hailed down. Look at that, little balls of ice. And uh, just like that, we are on a GS Trophy. Yeah, I actually took the side cases off, but uh, I just uh, spoke with the manager here, Julien, from uh, Louet Motor. Uh, I spent there actually all afternoon giving him some Instagram lessons. Yeah, uh, that's also something I do. Social media trainings and Instagram lessons and whatnot. But I've had enough, enough of giving some lessons and uh, thank you guys again. Let's do some GS riding. It's, it's that time again. Uh, it's been a couple of months since the last time I've been on a GS, but just Riding this thing out of the parking lot, I feel like you can just get off a BMW GS without the side stand and it would just stay on itself. This is one of the one of the few motorcycles that actually feels like ridiculously stable. There is uh, there is absolutely no reason why I'm picking up another BMW GS because well it's not it's not like this is a, this, this is the 2023 model. It's not like there's a brand new coming. Oh wait, there is a brand new coming. Yes, September 28th. BMW is flying me to Berlin to BMW headquarters to check out the world premiere of the new BMW GS. I think there's like a GS 1300, maybe a 1350, like a 1400, like an M version, like a faster M version. And you know, with the Ducatis and the KTM's producing 160, 170 horsepower, you know, this, this little monster needs a little bit more, a <clears throat> little kick on the butt. So I'm guessing they're going to make this like 160. The M version may be like 170, 180 horsepower. That might be a little bit too much, but I do wonder what is going to be shown to me September 28th. Now, a little fun fact, I had the bigger side cases on it, the panniers, and I just on the last split second, I said BMW, I'm going to take the panniers off. I absolutely do not run a ride with panniers today because that was, that's kind of dangerous. I am, it's also very illegal. I'm going to be stuck in traffic. I do not want a panniers. I want to do some lane splitting with the BMW GS Trophy. Now also let me know in the comments, it is BMW GS week once again. And you see that, that's why I always keep my fingers on a brake and my foot on the rear brake because the lane splitter is going from left to right all the time, the one in front as well. So uh, let me know in the comments, if you guys are like, hey Smokey, I want you to ride that motorcycle, that motorcycle, a Triumph, a Kawasaki, a Yamaha, I don't really care. Just let me know what motorcycle you want me to ride and I will ask the uh, company if they will actually give me one for like a week or a day or I don't know. But like I said, that is it. Back home lane splitting. Hope you guys liked today's video. This week, BMW GS content it is coming. Thank you all for liking. Make sure to subscribe. Join as a member if you want to. No push there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Drive safe. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see my latest video, it is right over here. If you want to see my most favorite video, it is right over there. Subscribing is done over here. And if you want to become a full-time YouTuber, as you can see by my play buttons yourself, go to smokytube.com. And over there, I have the perfect all-in-one how-to YouTube course.